Today we will be walking through the installation of the 150 megapixel Phase 1 aerial camera system into a Cessna 206. The system comprises of a camera, lens, IX controller, stabilization mount, INU, and a Ponix Pause computer system. Here we have Luis Viveros, our geospatial support manager, beginning the install. We start by putting the stabilization mount, a SOMAG CSM40, into the aircraft. This will correct for any pitch, yaw, roll, and drift while in flight. As you can see, it is quite small and does not take up much space. It simply screws to a metal plate in the bottom of the aircraft. Next up, we have the camera itself, a 150 megapixel back with a 90 millimeter rodent stock lens. The lens goes directly through the mount opening with the camera back resting on the mount edge. Added on top of the camera back is the inertial measurement unit, or IMU, which will receive the exact positioning of the camera during survey from the plane's GPS antenna. All the cables you see coming from the camera will connect to the IX controller. The controller receives power from the aircraft and directs it to power the camera, pilot and operator displays, and the Aponix computer system. The mount has its own power cable as well as a communication cable that sends the exact movements of the mount to be recorded. The IMU, which connects to the Aponix Pause computer system, records the positioning data and serves as a connection between the IMU and the aerial camera system's IX controller. Once powered up, the mount rises up, initializes, and stabilizes itself. The pilot and operator displays turn on, allowing you to visually see the flight path and adjust your settings for survey. The operator display is often handheld but can be mounted to the plane. The pilot display is mounted to the yoke so the pilot can easily see where they have to go while flying. And with everything up and running, you are ready to go collect survey.